Back for nearly 80 years, folks around the world have been mailing their valentines to Loveland, Colorado to be remailed with an extra dose of love, which means a set of unique inked stamps that bear a heartwarming message. News 5's John McMichael introduces us to some of the volunteers who keep the tradition alive. Travel by train, by letter or card. My love note will find you wherever you are. Via Sweetheart City, my message departs and speeds on its journey straight to your heart. What's going on here? What's happening? A little bit of work, a little bit of fun, a little bit of laughing. Oh, wow, stamping. Valentine's. Although I notice you are not. Well, I can, though. <laughs> this lovely site, stacked with smiles and heaps of mail, is Loveland's 77th year. This has been going on for a long time. Longer than we are old. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of taking in Valentine's from truly across the world, applying a couple special stamps like that poem we heard a second ago, and mailing them right back out. I think we spread love around the world, and we do a lot of different countries. We do uh, states, about every state. It, it just blows my mind to see where we're sending love. It's important to the Loveland community. Uh, it's part of our identity. What's not to like about love, right? It's the sweetheart city. You got that. <laughs> it's a sweetheart city. Of course, since each new stamping season sees more than 100,000 letters of affection. We did over 12,000 pieces of mail on Monday. None of this would be remotely possible without volunteers. Our stampers mean everything to us. We have a waiting list of over 100 people just to get in this room to be able to do the stamping. And once they're in, they stick around, sometimes for decades. I imagine if you do a thing for 22 years, you're bound to like it just a little bit. I love it. I look forward more to Valentine's Day than Christmas. <laughs> Everybody that does it, it's because they love somebody. And for this stamper, that's how the world, the whole world, should work. If you're going to point at things and say, I hope that we accomplish at least this one thing, what would that one thing be? Bringing people together. In Loveland, John McMichael, News 5.